Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you and play for you Colors Lo-Fi Tapes from Cinematic Instruments. Colors Lo-Fi Tapes is a box of ambiences, textures, pads. It's ready to play straight out of the box. So you have already amazing sounds to begin with, but you can also create your own unique sounds. I'm going to show you all this. So let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some of the beautiful presets that we have in Colors Lo-Fi Tapes. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of the interface because I think it's really, really cool and really inspiring. So as you can see, we have some colors here, some boxes, and all these boxes are sounds and presets that you can load instantly. So just before I was playing this preset, it's called Mantra. And all these sounds are modulated using the mod wheel. So let me show you. And I'm going to show you how you can do all this for your own sounds. So if I want to select a different sound, completely different sound, I can just click on any of these boxes and this is going to give me a different preset. and you can actually see the modulation going on right here. It's very visual. This can give you a very good indication of what's going on with the sound. Let's try a few more presets. beautiful textures. This is called Ghosty and I really like this preset. It has so many textures and variations. Check it out. Beautiful. Let's listen to the next one. This is called Cyclist. So these are all sounds that you can try, but the great thing with Colors Lo-Fi Tapes is that you can either create your own sounds or modify the existing 
presets to your heart's content. So the way to do this is we go to the easel page and as you can see, I can see exactly what's been used for this specific preset. Now, here's a very cool thing that you can do and this way you will never run out of sounds with this instrument. If you just go and click random here, you will get a different preset every single time that's going to be randomized. Let's try a few of them. It's super cool. Let's try another one. Beautiful. So as you can see, just by using the random button right here, we can get so many different sounds. Now, I want to show you how you can start creating your sounds on your own. If I hit the reset button here, I'm going to get an initial sound. So right now I can start loading layers right here. So I can say, okay, I'm going to play this and I can select out of all these different sound sources. So maybe box strings, silk choir, really like this one. I like this one. So what I can do is I can pan this if I want to. I can solo the sound, of course. So if I click on the A here, I'm going to bring up the arpeggiator and I can say I want it to be in eighth notes. Play. And if I want to control the volume of this specific layer with my mod wheel, I can just click on this icon and now I can control the level. I can go here and change the tone as well. And also the attack. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to go here and this time maybe I'm going to select the vintage strings. Let's see. Don't we go and pan them to the right a little bit? And I'm going to modulate them using the modulation that we have right here. So I'm going to activate it. Maybe I'm going to have a little bit of a slower attack and make it a little bit darker. Let's see. That's beautiful. Let's go and add another layer here. Maybe I'm going to go for the silk choir this time. Again, I'm going to make it a little bit slower with the attack and I'm going to modulate this as well. So maybe I'm going to go for 16th notes for this one. And I'm going to enable the mod wheel as well. Maybe I want to make this a little bit darker as well. And now for the last layer, I'm going to go and add a little bit of a tape sound. Let's solo it so we can hear. That's pretty nice. Vinyl crackle. 
know what? I'm going to go for the Ecolet. As you can see, very, very quickly, you can come up with a super interesting layered texture sound. So this is a beautiful thing that you can do with Colors Lo-Fi tapes really, really fast. And then we have the master section. Here is where we can set our decay. We can also add drive to our sound. And we have some more options for each one of these effects. So I can have drive or lo-fi. And you know, maybe this I can also activate it using my mode wheel. I think in this case, I'm going to leave the drive to off. Then we have a filter. Where again, we have different settings here. We can have sweep. Or auto filter, chorus. Delay Reverb, of course, so maybe I can choose between one of these algorithms. I'm gonna go for the Valet in this case. And again, I can add the reverb using my mod wheel, as you can see. And if you want, you can change the behavior of the mode wheel. If I go here, for example, I can say I want the reverb to start like this and go all the way up or the other way around. And then when we go to the main section, we also have a very interesting thing. We have the chop control. So when I activate this, we're going to get this chop effect. There are so many different sounds that you can choose from and you can come up with a sound super, super quickly like this. So there you go, this is Colors Lo-Fi Tapes from Cinematic Instruments. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you liked the sounds, and I hope you make some great music with this instrument. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.